Bhagavad Gita, text 2.61 Restraining the senses and disciplining oneself, one should sit fixed one's consciousness on me. Such a person is known to be steady in wisdom. The first half of this verse speaks of practice, the second half speaks of perfection. This sitting procedure and other such attendant practices of meditation, jnana, will be elaborated on in the sixth chapter. Here, Krishna concludes his answer to Arjuna's question regarding how the enlightened sit. Madhusudana Saraswati acknowledges that Krishna says here, He is the supreme paraha, the most excellent goal to be attained. That is to say, he, the enlightened one, should be absolutely devoted to me. As thieves are subdued by one who takes shelter of a powerful king and ultimately submit to the one who has come under the king's shelter, so the senses are subdued and ultimately submit to the soul who takes shelter of Krishna. Thus, in the matter of controlling the senses, the most important element is fixing one's consciousness on Krishna. Although one has to control one's senses to do this, having done so, even to a limit degree, one can quickly become successful due to the power of the object of devotion, Krishna himself, on whom the senses are focused. Thus arbitrary focal points for meditation are not encouraged in the Gita. For emphasis to restate his points regarding the path to proper discrimination and enlightened intelligence, Krishna continues by stating the reverse sequence of events that leads to the loss of one's power of discrimination. While the sthita pragya is able to control his senses because his mind is controlled, what happens when the mind is left uncontrolled is described next. <laughs> 